morning everybody chad at their farms been in here for a minute because it's raining actually not much because you can't hear it on the roof right yeah i don't think you guys can hear that let's go dump some cubes on the ground but first i wanted to show you something i wish we had lights in here we should really call an electrician no water inside the house it rained last night pretty good it wasn't blowing but it rained it's actually rained almost a tenth of an inch so very little but today's our day with big rain but Regardless, rain is rain, and we don't have any underneath our door threshold. It's all dry, so that's awesome. In large part due to, I'm sure, the spray foam. And yeah, a lot of you guys were saying, you know, hey, don't use a spray foam. It can void warranty, which I've never heard that, but maybe a specific brand does. I don't know. Uh, but it can warp door jams. However, that's only if the foam doesn't have anywhere to go. See, when I'm filling these cracks, it can come out. It doesn't have to go forward, so it doesn't. It takes the path of least resistance, which means it does not warp doors. I also bought window and door spray foam. This does not expand as much. So anyway, I know you guys are just helping. I just wanted you to know so you weren't worried about it. Also, this cabin is not being built by the same people that built our next one. So our, our cabin that's on its way is being built by somebody completely different. So will they be perfect? Will they be better? I don't know. You got to remember too, this could have just settled a little bit. Okay. Now yesterday, I'll show you. When I told you guys the angles were off a little bit, it was actually, and it was a blessing. Believe it or not, the easiest thing to get square was what they messed up. It wasn't the door jam. It was the trim, right? So you take your outside measurements, I knew this was a 3-0 door, so I knew we had 36 inches to work with, but I couldn't figure out why this was 35 and a half. Well, it's because it's a door stop, and I'm used to buildings with brick molding or even a door frame that's already got brick molding. So that's actually what the holdup was. Through your guys' advice, one person in particular, I think his name is the Virginian. Is that right? Sorry, buddy. But went and got some brick mold, and it worked great. I don't have the closers on here yet. This is a heavy door. So it's actually come, it came with uh, two closers. So we'll put one down there, one down there, and the one down there has like a foot stop. So when you open it, if you want to leave it open for moving stuff in, you press your stop. Hang on a minute. I know. So anyway, yep, that works. Still need to fine tune it a little bit, adjust it a little bit. Now, a lot of you guys might be like, Ray, love you, babe. A lot of you guys might be like Ray and you're like, well, but your door handle's on the other side. Why would you, let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. See the door handles here, the door handles there, they're opposite. So there's two schools of thought on how you frame your screen door or storm door. A lot of people put them facing or opening to the south because the cold winds come from the north, right? Well, we can't do that because we have a two, four wall. So a 2-4 wall does not allow enough room for two door handles on the same side. If they're on the same side, they would smack into each other. You literally couldn't close one door if the other door was closed as well. So that's why we had to go this way. The other school of thought is, like if you live in Alaska, I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if people in Alaska have storm doors, but maybe Montana, I don't know. But anywhere that it's cold, or whether your cold months are longer than your warm months, which here we have about three cold months, so you don't want to face this. So you don't have to face the, or you should, I should say in this area, sometimes face this to the north because you have the least amount of wind coming from that, the right amount of seasons or something like that. I read about it, believe it or not, I literally Googled which way should your storm door face. For us, it was irrelevant because our door handles on this side. CJ's grumpy. So anyway, I like it. Let me get some cubes on the ground. And you guys can see all the animals, and we'll talk a little bit, and then I'll show you this uh, storm door in all its glory. Bunny, quit chewing on the trampoline. I know you know your name. Pat, what's up, buddy? <laughs> CJ, I know we got to clean all this up. Don't judge me, or do. I don't care. Rah. Rah. No, sir. No. 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 Go on. Go on. 
he doesn't even care. Food's on the line. He's like, I'll take some scratchings for some food. Somebody the other day suggested that I get a GoPro with like a chest mount. Uh, I'm too tough for that, too cool. I prefer to walk on the wild side and risk danger with horny animals. Wait a minute, animals with horns. Anyway, let's go. That means you guys. That means you, Bruce. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me, pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me, you guys are really making me nervous, actually. Hi, June. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the truck as a shield. I'm gonna make them think I'm going this way, and then I'm going this way. Or don't block my speed, man. Look out. Woo. All right. They're not as scattered as normal. This should be entertaining. Where's the alpacas? They're like, nah, ain't doing it. Ain't gonna do it. Ninja. What's up, buddy? Hi, buddy. What you doing? Hmm? Give us a kiss. Oh, mom. Sorry, I set you up for that one. My bad. Hey. Make friends. Friends. She's not. Mama's hungry. She ain't gonna do it this morning. Pat, you okay, buddy? You owe me one. I'm sorry, man. Lo siento. Oreo, you got your own little stash. How'd you work that out? faithful LGDs right here, our livestock guardian donkeys. Looking thicker than a snicker. <laughs> they eat pretty stinking good here. So this year we will, uh, we'll make sure they don't get too much grass. Last year we didn't have much grass. We had a lot to like browse on, like brush and trees and things like that, weeds. But, thank you cowboy. This year we've got a lot more fescue and I've got fescue to plant too. Today's the last day for rain until next Thursday, barring like a pop-up shower. Tomorrow it's cloudy, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it's supposed to be sunshine and about 65. So it's gonna be perfect to plant or seed. So on probably Friday evening, maybe even, uh, I don't know, I hate to do it in the evening because I don't want them walking around eating all the grass or eating all the seed. The chickens will for sure. If I could get out here like super early Saturday morning, which when I say I can I get out here, I, I can. But Saturday is going to be a prime time to plant some stuff. So, all right, everybody's favorite, the pond. The pond, the pond, the pond. The one of you guys mentioned, and I totally agree. Have you ever seen those laser leveling systems? Um, I think they're like transit and leveling systems. That's the same thing. Get ready. The next 20 minutes of this video are about the pond. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, uh, DeWalt makes a battery powered labor, labor, laser leveling system. And if you're in a room for like framing out a cabin, 
over there. If you're in a room for framing out a cabin, you can sit the laser in the middle. And as long as it's level, you know, it's got a bubble on top, a leveling bubble. It shows you like, say you wanted to run a beadboard with a chair rail, okay? That would project a laser around the room in a perfect square at like four feet height or whatever height you wanted for that matter. Somebody said we should actually, and I like the idea, we can get a laser and put it on. The reason I say DeWalt's because I've got tons of DeWalt batteries and it's battery powered, but we could put a laser on these mounds and it'll throw a green laser. Believe it or not, it'll cover this whole pond and it'll tell us if these ridges are low enough. Now, the other thing that you can use that for is this concrete box we've got for our pond. So if you missed the last video, our concrete box showed up. I had them put my name on it just so everybody knows that it's mine and nobody can walk away with it. Totally kidding. I think it weighs like 5,000 pounds or something ridiculous. I don't know. He just told me my tractor couldn't pick it up. So it's got to be over three or 4,000. But anyway, yeah, we could put our laser on the concrete box and that would tell us if it's level or how high we need to bring up this bank over here. See, when you have this, you don't really need a spillway. Um, so we can actually bring that dirt up a lot and I probably will just because it adds more volume, more water to your pond. We don't intend, I mean, I can tell standing right here that these ridges are way lower than the pond. Um, and I actually, some of you mentioned, why'd you leave your shovel in the mud? Well, I had a shovel there when I was leveling out these mounds because I stuck the shovel in the dirt and it marked where the ridge was before I brought my tractor out here. So when I was running my tractor, I was able to see how many feet I took off. I actually took off so much dirt that the shovel fell off, if that makes sense. That ridge was like way up here, guys. It was way, way higher. So pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. And we can still take more off as we see fit or if we see fit. See, here's some grass coming up. We planted this, this is fescue. And unfortunately last time I didn't do it right and I didn't do it quick enough and we lost a lot of the seed. So let's just say the bottom of the hill and the overflow pond are well seeded, put it that way. See that? Anybody else's overflow got beautiful green fescue in it? Nope, just me? Okay. We've got some work to do down here. It is what it is. We're gonna make it happen. But again, this is not a priority. Now, knocking those ridges down. We've been over this. Knocking those ridges down were a priority, okay? I couldn't, I couldn't sleep at night with those ridges knowing they were higher than the pond. So now we can see what this is actually going to look like. Um, we can even level it out. I can pull it back a little bit. I can make it lower. But in theory, this dirt, this mess of dirt right here. See, this was a pile that the previous dozer guy left us to use on this bank. But when this blew out, that was all up here. This was much, much higher, which meant that was in a good spot. Because when I first started doing this, when I first started draining it, remember I brought our pumps out here and I had sticks in the ground, see that? Marking the water levels as to where we wanted that can. And unfortunately those blew out, um, is what it is. But we have seen the water. See that tree stump over there? Don't focus on my finger. That tree stump right there. Not, not this one, that one. The water gets to that grass line right there, which is way higher than this thing. And it's especially higher than the V that's cut out in this thing. I kind of want to see how soft this is. Not with my tractor. I'm just curious though, like when it rains, how fast does clay get soft? You can see the cows sink. Nope, so does Chad. We're getting soft. We're getting softer. Get soft. Hang on, hang on. Woo! That was fun. All right. Now, I got to do some work. I got to work a little bit. I probably won't set up the camera. Uh, this will be one of those videos where I work for four or five hours. And I check back with you guys and Case is here. And I know you guys love Case being in the videos. So do I. Total comedic relief. So I don't know where he gets it. But, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's go, hang on. Let's go look at uh, the screen door, like as you walk up on the cabin. 
just so you guys can see what it looks like because it's very pretty i like it look how green it is this is a lot of actually i don't know what that is don't know but we didn't seed this this had a lot of native grass in it so it doesn't look as beautiful as like that fresh baby fescue growing out there check it out man disregard that when i'm ripping boards to build stud walls i put my table saw or my miter saw right here that's like a stand and all the extras just fall over here the water was actually delivered by amazon and then where's he at you know who i'm looking for it's actually two of them they both have spots how well, convenient they're hanging out those two bruce he heard me totally knows his name and little donk standing behind him they loathe cardboard loathe it so they tore up the package that the water came in and threw it all over the yard Look how pretty this looks irma gersh look at that i like it i like it a lot now i didn't 45 it i just did what they did and did a uh what's that called when you don't 45 it because you're lazy maybe it's just called laziness is that canadian chicken gonna lay an egg or what speaking of eggs the bird herds waiting by the door they know what time it is Man, I, just, I love this door i love it and i'm gonna put a chain up there because we do get some brutal south winds i'm also what else we got to put our door stops on but we've got some things that we need to bring in here and yeah if you put those limiters on there the door stops they actually won't let you open it this far and we need that full 36 inches so yep what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, egg cartons. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Woo, that almost got me. That's a fly trap. Eggos from yesterday. That's eggs in Spanish. Just kidding, not really. It's huevos, Oreo. Eggs in Spanish is huevos. June is still not sharing that calf, but, and some of you guys, I need you to hear me out here, okay? Dr. Huff, our veterinarian, our local veterinarian, large animal veterinarian, <laughs> knows his stuff. Oh, and he said, I don't know much about Highlands, but I would say she's about a month out. That was back in February. So he was a little bit off, but she's also a first time heifer. So I think she's just running a little bit late, but I'm sending pictures of June to people who have Highlands and who have... <laughs> who have calved highlands, right? So once they tell me there's reason to worry, then we'll take her to the vet, okay? Dr. Huff said, don't bother. It'll just make her nervous and anxious. Well, hello there. You're a cute little chicken. Totally have beard envy. I do, Oreo. I do. Make sure like come out here and do the chores with me in the mornings when we live out here. That'd be okay. You wanna ride on the tractor? Don't listen to Bruce. You can get on it. He's just not supposed to. to throw one without hitting them nailed it you know what's about to happen right i know i know well listen here's here's the problem okay i know i'm sorry low cm though i did not mark the eggs quick enough to tell which one she had been sitting on i got i got a lot of my brain a lot of my plate i'm sorry i apologize I didn't mark the eggs quick enough to see which ones that she had been sitting on for three or four days and which ones have been laid by other hens. I'm scared to tell some of you guys that. Not gonna lie. So, what we will do, who locks their truck in their own driveway? In the middle of the country. What we will do is wait until she's got a good little clutch underneath her. I'll pull her out of there. When we, when we live out here, I can't do it now. But if she's still broody, which she probably will be, they don't just shake it just like that. We will pull her out of there and get her her own spot and her own eggs where the other chickens can't come by and lay eggs on top of them to where you can't tell if they've been there for five days or 21 days. So, but part of the problem was too, remember we donate our eggs and there got to be so many underneath her. And I could tell hers are blue. She lays blue eggs. I know that for sure. But it got to be to where there were some brown ones. There were some light white pinkish ones. Um, 
And I just didn't want to run the risk of trying to take those to people who we donate them to and then crack and open up a baby chick in their frying pan. That'd be, yeah, you know. You want to, you want to donate eggs and be kind, but you don't want to be that guy. Anyway, we will do it. I think it's cool. Also, when we're out here, when the chicks hatch, we can do a much better job of keeping them all safe. That's a big issue here with baby chicks anyway, okay? We have not lost a single chicken to a predator. Did or not, but I don't think we have. They're really good at hiding. This is how you know you're a farmer. This is how you know you're a rancher, okay? Every farmer and rancher out here, and I mean, there's some ranchers near us with like a thousand acres, okay? There's big, big ranches and farms. They all pull into the gas station. <laughs> you guys probably know where I'm going with this. They all pull into the gas station with their cattle dogs, right? Dog just sits up on the truck box. They walk inside, they get out of the truck, and they, you know, shut the door behind them. Dog sitting on the truck box. Like, Sit, Trigger. So yeah, they're all named Trigger or Remington or something like that. I don't have a truck dog, but I'm very excited to run to the gas station later and show off my truck goat. Right? How cool is that? You think she'd ride on the box? I bet she would. Actually, she'd, she'd probably prefer to ride up front in the shotgun, but not going to do that. Sorry. Sorry, Oreo. Now I'm going to do some work in here. And, uh, yeah, we got to get going on this thing, man. We got to get to ripping. So... Let's do it. Guess what we're doing today. What are we doing? Oh, today? hey, Case. How's oh, it hi. Yeah. I forgot I'm here. Guess what we're doing today. Take a look around the farm. See if you can tell me what we're doing. Hopefully not the pond. That, that, was, that was funny. That was good. That was good. It's going to get real funny taking... when you figure it out. Hopefully we're taking down the really ugly. Uh... We're not taking that down yet. Oh. I did buy. You talking about the weather station? Yeah, like the. I did buy like a. The thing that proper. Looks absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Speaking of haircuts. <laughs> what? I did buy a pole for the weather station so we can get it off the side of the cabin. But no, seriously, look around. What are we doing today? Can you figure it out? Do you see anything that doesn't belong outside? What's on the trailer? Oh, <laughs> I, I thought that was like something for the animals. That's what that is. <clears throat> Hope you got your strength up. Well, finish your chicken tender and uh, get a pair of gloves. What? You know what that is? That's a tub. Shower tub. But you know what it is? A shower tub. It's an outdoor shower. We picked up the tub from our buddy Kelly at Lock. Hey, can you come open the door? Softly and gently. Don't rip it open. And careful, it's sharp. You feel that on the handle? No. Does it feel sharp anywhere? Jeez. I know, right? It's like too sharp. This is how you can open stuff. Like, you know, like open boxes and stuff. Like an unboxing? Yeah. No. You just take the door handle off? No. Yeah. Listen, that door handle's too sharp. Like, I'm gonna go to Lowe's and see if there's a different one. Just use it as a knife. No. All right, open the door, Chief. This one sharp? No. <laughs> hey. Get out of there. No. Where's... Is Snap in there? Hey, get out of there. I know this is y'all's trailer, but I had to borrow it. Sorry. Vamanos. Let's go. Come on. Goodness. All right, so listen. We got to carry that thing inside. You got to carry that thing. No, it's not that heavy. Hey, the microphone picks up that urine, lady. Grandma said we should measure this opening and make sure the tub will fit through there before we bring the tub in. It's cool to live. But it's not set. Please don't use it. I was just about to ask you. No. Are you sure? <laughs> dude, if you pee in that toilet. We got 20 acres to pee on, dude. We need to see if this opening needs to be wider before we bring that tub in. Can you, do you have to touch and try everything? You're worse than the little boys. You know that, right? Your hey, shirt. your shirt matches the insulation. Hmm? Turn around. See the pink insulation behind you? Nice shirt. Appreciate it. It's on yeah. here too. Yeah. When's your girlfriend want it back? <laughs> We're going 
to your, your hands cannot be on the outside they got to be under it or on it she's in there in there like swimwear isn't that pretty so even though we're going to have water on this wall for the toilet, it's just a water line to help it flush. But everything I've read says avoid at all costs putting your water wall, which is your hot and cold water, avoid putting them on your outside wall, your exterior, because you got to insulate them to keep them from freezing. So anyway, it's a lot bigger than I thought. Now the thing, this room, it looks crowded, but it's not. It's actually... Uh, almost six and a half feet wide. These are inside measurements. It's almost six and a half feet wide by 11 and a half feet long inside measurements, which is the exact same size as our bathroom now, which had the boys' bathroom, which has a five foot tub and shower in it, plus a toilet. The toilet's gonna go over there in the corner. And then we've got a 60 inch vanity double sink going right there. So the only thing I may have to do I've got to level this up. It comes with like, oh, there's like legs underneath it. And you put two by fours under it. And then Kelly uh, was telling me that some people put like spray foam underneath them, or maybe not spray foam, but like foam board to give your shower a little bit of, I don't want to say cushion, but like a little bit of something to break up the weight if somebody like myself steps inside of it. So anyway, but we'll make it work. But I'm glad it's in here. Uh, Grandma was right. I did have to remove one stud. Um, but you can see our measurements are almost spot on. So here's where I removed that one stud. And it's perfectly in line with the front of the shower. So if anything, we'll just have to move this down just one space. So we shall see. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Are you eating again? Yeah. Heck of a view out here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Be awesome, or that's a word. Be awesome if June shared that baby Fred, though. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. July. <laughs> I hope she don't make it till July. Some people mention that uh, maybe call, she's. I want to call it the kid July if it's a girl. Call her July, yeah, so like June good. and July, even if she's born in May. Yeah, it'd be fine. Okay. If it's a girl, if it's a boy, we call it Dave. <laughs> <laughs> All the Daves that watch this channel just got real excited. Yeah, name him after me. Out of here. Call him Frank. No, let's call him Dave. I like Dave better. Or Bill. Bill the cow. That's a good one. Bill. If Bill the bull. Bill the bull. You had Fred the bull. Bill sounds like Fred. How does that work? Well, I mean, it's like just the most random generic name for a Scottish Highland. Calling it Bill. True. Oh, Ray's work just texted me and wanted to know if you enjoyed your experience yesterday at the dental office. Not really. My teeth <laughs> hurt like crazy. So. <laughs> All right. Old buddy here, if he minds his P's and Q's, according to the boss, Ray, gets his braces off in late July. Yeah. Right before your freshman year. That's pretty slick. I'm gonna be a big man. She took good care of you, didn't she? She did. She Getting did. you through them quick? Yep. It was January of 22. I don't know if she did it on purpose, but every time I've gotten my braces tightened, when they hurt, one side doesn't. So I can chew on at least one side. She may have done it on purpose. Or she may have been aiming to make both of them hurt because she's tired of you forgetting your laundry in the dryer. That's a good point. It is a good point. <laughs> did she tell you that when she was like, so she has to do something, I don't know. She had to push my cat back on because you know it fell off while she was doing something she had to push it back on and when she's pushing back on you know it's not very clamped down so she jabbed right to the top of my mouth i mean like right in my gum nice, nice. i'm pretty sure that was about the dryer yeah probably those she doesn't mess up very often at work like i mean it'd have to be like a very long difficult <laughs> procedure for her to mess I up I was, so i was like braces like, are so routine for her that was definitely targeted mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you guys saw us get the tub in there that's my favorite thing in the world is to ask Case to help me carry heavy stuff. It always goes so well. 
-hmm. Welcome to it, man. It's the same thing as with my dad. You know what happened? Mm -hmm. You know when it finally got better helping my dad move? When? When you moved out? <laughs> no. So, no, because I needed his help to move. Uh, Have you seen him? You know true. what I'm saying? Yeah. He's got like a... He's like... He's got like a six-pack. I know. Well, he benches his own weight and he's like 65 years old. True. Which is... I tell people I don't work out because I'll just wait till I'm 65. Like, yeah, you're gonna look Why like would him. I work out now? Keep in mind you have to wake up at 4 a.m. every day and then go to the yeah. gym. You don't have to. Grandpa's retired. Well, that's what Grandpa does. Yeah, yeah that's overrated. Yeah, it's but you, you also have to go to bed at like 6 p.m. I almost do. True. No, when it finally got better moving with Grandpa was when I got bigger than him and was able to lift more. But then I wasn't lifting technically right like i was lifting with my back instead of bending my knees so then he was like well you're not gonna be able to do that very long if you keep lifting with your back like that does that sound like grandpa that's how he sounds in my head when i was growing up mm. I don't boys know. that sounds if like i grandpa. have to come up there that sounds like grandpa that was it i appreciate you very much and i'm very very proud of you mm. always 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 okay all right sorry for hitting the door frame <laughs> yeah you did <laughs> It was the outside, though. It wasn't the, it wasn't the side that the tub people see. Yeah, so like when, when Ray comes here and she sees the scratch paint on the doorway, just blame yourself. Okay, got it. All right. Well, with that said, if you guys want to watch a funny video with Case here, probably, what, Friday? Uh, I'll probably try and do it tonight. Okay, that's no pressure. Yeah. So, all right. Anyway, I'll if link not, Case's... If not tonight, then it'll be Friday. For okay. Sure. Well, if you want to see Case's video, it's always linked down below. He's got a little channel where he walks around and just talks about uh, what we're doing off the farm. Mm -hmm. so, or what we're doing on the farm that I don't show. I think I'm just going to explore like every crevice of the cabin today. Sounds good. Just, like, I should probably hide some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> some trash. With that said, we appreciate you guys. Thoughts and prayers for Junebug. We'd really like to hold July or Bill. Yeah. So, y'all be good. Don't work too hard. Don't make it weird. God bless. Deuces. Deuces.